unbearable shit happened when the fucking things did fucking break down or something like that. It's fucking 12, 15 in the morning. Look at all those fucking people. Man. Yeah, they don't want to deal with fucking shit. Hi, driving over here, Highway 38, green spot right there. Yeah. Fucking traffic was backed up as far as, as far as I can see just now. And now well, you can see, so... They're all coming from the store. Yeah, well... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I, I just, I'm wondering why everyone's so late. They they probably were stuck down there for a long time and escorted up. Because it's a huge, like Look, it's... that could be an escort. That, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah what a fucking trip, dude. That's the way I, I, I'm, I was going to go, also. You know what, I'm going to go see if the Caltrans guy's asleep so I can drive up to Onyx Summit and back. Right now. I do that for all of my fucking videos. Last year when we got that three feet of snow in early January, they didn't plow past. Well, I'll go with you. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to get away, dude. I'm gonna fucking watch babies, dude. Don't watch that, man. Yeah. I just thought maybe you had to go somewhere. No. Or no. All I have to go do is. Well, I just didn't want to. I don't have to. But the only, the only, the video. you know, the thing is, is. I can take you lots of places, but it's probably going to be exactly like this. Yeah, one. yeah. They ain't none of them nice when you enter them. You know? Yeah. And as much as you think this is nice for a little drive and stuff, I'll tell you what, that Pathfinder that Chandler had for the... He told me that thing was that insane. That thing's gnarly, dude. That thing's fucking gnarly. There you go, fucking. All four tires falls out. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, you know, it was four wheel drive, was, right? Yeah, and they all yeah. and fucking uh, Nissan fucking uh, Pathfinder tires are always gnarly, dude. Oh wait, shit! I was gonna go see about Onyx. Let me let me flip the bitch. Can you hold this up for me? Said that Pathfinder was the absolute shit, just the shit in the snow. Yeah. I don't know. The Jeep's pretty good too. Yeah. yeah. Junior has that 250 uh, Ford to have 250. Yeah. And that thing, he had full of steel in the back. That thing. So if it, if the heavier the vehicle is, the better it is for the, for the, for off-roading and stuff, or for snow? Well, to a point, I mean, because... Because this is the heaviest fuck vehicle, it's 6,000 pounds. Well, right, that, that is definitely to your advantage. Well, okay. you got to figure too, and if you get real heavy, if your tires start spinning, you dig holes, you know, quick. And I have a beefy V8 engine too, so that that's a double bad then because yeah, the weight and then the easily spinning of the wheels will probably fucking well, yeah. as, long, as long as you don't let those wheels spin too much, then the weight's to your advantage. Yeah. But like going uphill. People listen to what he's saying for when you're driving up here. It's not to your advantage because you have a lot of weight and you're trying to take up the hill. Come up a hill and see the clear ice. If you don't make it up that hill, you're, you're gonna fucked. Have to go back. Yep. No, you're gonna have to go back, back, down. back down and get a. And you cannot use your brakes. You have to steer while you go backwards. Because as soon as you hit your brakes, your engine's heavier than your rear end, and the front end's gonna want to slide around. So the best thing to do is use your emergency brake, especially if you have a center console emergency brake and roll backwards and just kind of pump it and steer backwards. You know, and go as slow as you can and steer, you know, if you have somebody to help you steer, it's even easier, you know, makes it even easier, but, you know, you don't want to get caught in those 
those situations where you're going up the hills and dude i am telling you i get a mad amount of emails and and texts for that type of question every single day about like like how to drive if you're getting stuck up, up here uphill what's the safest way to like um yeah so lots of my viewers they actually like my channel because i inform them about the area and and you know how to drive and i'm glad that you're helping out too because it makes it safer for us up here too when these people down the hill know how to drive up here yeah well having chains and Having a good four wheel drive with good meaty tires, you know, this helps. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Seeing people cruise up here knowing that there's a major freaking storm coming. And here's a bus. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. They don't want to pull in there. They just oh, like I guess walk. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's some, I've seen some fucking big money out here, man. Some, some just plush fucking ranches out here. It just looks beautiful. I wonder if, if they're just vacation homes. Is it snowing or is this blowing snow? It's snowing, huh? Next storm, they're expecting twice the amount. Yeah, but it is of supposed to be here till Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow so morning, we'll, man. Or, we'll see what tomorrow looks like. Or yeah. this morning. I, I can't wait until the sun comes up to go do my drive around town just to see how everything looks, man. Well, it really hasn't stopped too much today. No, <laughs> no, it has not. It's already snowed 26 inches today. They said. Well, we went into Bear City sometime earlier in the day, and uh, it quit snowing. But when I was there in the morning time, it was snowing and it was like a blizzard. Yeah. Then afternoon, it really started snowing. Yeah, the wind was blowing pretty hard. Oh yeah, yeah. I was driving all around town videoing everything. It, yeah, I have it all on YouTube right now. Just amazing videos. Stuff where I could not see in front of me at all at points. It was it was amazing. It was the first time I've seen a, a blizzard in the San Bernardino Mountains, except for in Lake Arrowhead many, many, many years ago. I was stuck in a blizzard up there, or down there, which obviously there must have been a major one here. If, it, if they have a blizzard down there, then we're getting, getting smashed up here. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is between the two. Well, they're both there. They're, well, 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 they're a lot lower than us here. They're about 1,600 to 1,800 feet lower than us. So that's a significant fucking difference in terms well, of... I've gone down to Running Spring, and Running Springs had more snow than we did up here. Yeah, they're at, so. they're at 6,000 feet, and they're on the northwest facing slopes. So that's why they get fucking hammered and stuff. But most of the time, we'll still get more snow than them. Just because of our... Our elevation difference that's the only fucking reason now if running springs now if crestline was at our elevation dude they'd get fucking 170 inches a year easy of snow easy because they get so much fucking rain there yeah man i fucking love this place Thing I've noticed in in my videos because religiously since I moved here every storm before during and after I record um, I've noticed that Boulder Bay and the, the Big Bear Dam area consistently get more snow than this side consistently every fucking storm there hasn't been one fucking difference every storm I'm hoping the Caltrans guy will be sound asleep because I've 
done this before. <laughs> and then you just drive by them and go through the unplowed roads. What is he sleeping on the side of the In his car in the very center. Uh, and he's got the big sign that says chains, chains required, all lit up bright and stuff and stop here. And one time I stopped and the guy was just drooling, fucking sound asleep inside his truck. And I was like, all right, see <laughs> So I fucking drove through two feet of snow the whole way to Onyx Summit in this thing last year. You need to get that guy in trouble. I, you know what? That's, that, you know what? That's a good point. I was thinking selfishly. And look at, look, see all these people still fucking. Now you're going to have to edit that out. <laughs> do, you, do you edit your shit? No. No? No. No, I'm fucking real. That's why the viewers like me too, because I don't fucking, I don't, I speak my mind and yeah. And I feel like most of them are my friends and stuff too. Like they, they always freaking contact me. It's really cool. And I can't tell you how many times I see cars fucking always Watch crashing out. right here. Where? Watch out for this guy. Yeah. yeah. Twice today already. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I'm up there every storm, every single storm. And then the third time I attempted, um, he said, "You need chains now, like, sir, like 100%." They know me, and I interview them to give my viewers the official Caltrans forecast from Caltrans themselves. I say, "Hey, bro, do you think you can tell my viewers what uh, what uh, what?" The conditions are right now and what they should expect and yeah it's it's really cool man sometimes these caltrans guys have really fucking pissed me off but <coughs> i have to realize they're doing a job you know and yeah they're trying to make it safe out there i understand that. yeah do you, and, and, and you know what i do too i do too <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you can't play out there. You can't fucking play out there. You have to fucking be on your P's and Q's all the fucking time or you can fucking... You, it, that nature out there will fucking kill you quickly. If, if you're fucking... If you take it for granted at all out there, man, oh my God. Yeah. One place I've always wanted to go for a whole winter is Fairbanks or Point Barrow. Yeah. Just to experience what that would be like. Just... Fucking three months of darkness and um, getting minus 40 degree temperatures. It's probably not as fun as you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Yeah, I'd, yeah. I already get irritated putting on layers just to go out in, in, in this stuff. I guess be minus six, minus sixteen, and twenty. And then the wind starts blowing after that. <laughs> well, yeah, the people up here it's freezing. Yeah. You know, and it's freezing too everywhere, but what's you know. what's the coldest you've experienced in Big Bear? Big Bear? Yeah. I don't know, probably minus nineteen. Holy minus twenty. Damn. That was just recently. That was this year. When? No. Yeah, it got really cold. Okay, so here are these these fucking chain guys. <coughs> now they look busy. Yeah, but you just here. I'm gonna turn off my brights. Oh, and oh, the fucking cops there. I think. What's he doing there? Oh, I don't know. It looks like a cop up here, doesn't it? Well, a lot of times there is cops. Yeah. Up there. Yeah, but usually 
unless it's really fucking gnarly, then they'll have a cop in case someone like me wants to just blow right by the fucking Caltrans, uh, which that. they have threatened me in, in the past. Like, dude, if you go, you know, the cop will he'll give you a thousand. It's a thousand dollar fine, a thousand dollar fine to cool. to drive by. Dude, are these people in the middle of the fucking road, dude? If you saw me on CBS News last night, I was telling everybody, please don't fucking put your chains on in the middle of the road. Like, they don't listen. They don't listen. He's awake. Is he awake? He's on my side. Is he real? No. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. Let's stop chain. What? Right, you want to talk to him? Yeah. What do you want to do? What's up, man? I was just gonna go up to Onyx and back down. I do our, our winter weather recording up here. Okay. Like, uh, I, I'll be back down in like 20 minutes. Right. Yeah, th thank you, I appreciate it. Right on, man, hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Awesome, man, that guy was cool as fuck. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, well, take it easy. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah, take it easy. I I do this all the time, man. All right, well, take it easy. Uh, well, hey, hey, hey. You're on the wrong side of the road. I know what the fuck I'm doing, dude. Do uh, you want to walk or what? Like, fucking, don't, don't fucking be a backseat driver. I don't want to walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't worry. We'll, we're absolutely fine. This is not the Ted and Bob show. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh... I don't know, but re remember, you're Did you you're with that? me. That big white thing? No, the thing on the side of the road. I saw a truck back there, but I, no, no. There was a round thing on the side of the road. It looked like an animal or something. It's kind of bizarre. Because everything else is white, you know? It yeah. It brown and it went round. Really? And then it looked like it moved. If something. Maybe you can see it on your video later. Or on our way back down. Dude, I. A couple days ago, man, on Highway 18 on the backside. I saw a fucking dead deer, dude. Like, I hate seeing that shit when a car fucking hits it and stuff like that. Like, uh, now hunting, that's a different story, but... Well, I hate being the guy who hits it. Huh? I hate being the guy who hits yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Fucking total your fucking car for sure. Well, in a lot of cases. Well, yeah, I mean, my... my inside. 